Let's spend a few minutes going over some of the local load balancing features of Traffic Manager. Load balancing algorithms control how the pool distributes traffic across its nodes. The round robin algorithm distributes traffic by assigning each request to a new node in turn. Over a period of time, all of the nodes will receive the same number of requests. Weighted round robin works in a similar way to round robin, but assigns more requests to nodes with a greater weight. Over a period of time, nodes will receive a number of requests in proportion to their weight. For example, a node with a weight of 4 will receive 4 times as many requests as a node with a weight of 1. The fastest response time algorithm monitors the response time for a recent requests to each node and sends each new request to the node that has recently been responding the most quickly. This algorithm is similar to the perceptive algorithm, but is based purely on historical data and may not behave as well when the traffic type is changing or heavily varied. The perceptive algorithm uses a combination of response time data and connection counts to predict which node is likely to have the fastest response time for each request and is tuned dynamically by the traffic manager depending on traffic conditions. Another useful feature of Traffic Manager is the failure pool. If every node in the original pool should fail, requests will be diverted to this failure pool until nodes are available. A failure pool for application could be a single failure server that provides an out-of-service message or backup application servers that are able to function independently. Within a pool, Traffic Manager also supports a feature called Priority Lists. A priority list allows you to group the nodes in order of priority while also specifying the minimum number of machines you wish to receive traffic at any one time. In this example, you have three servers that you want to use for normal traffic, primary one through three. And you also have two off-site servers, backup one and two. The two backup servers could be set up as a failure pool for the three primary servers, but a failure pool is only used if every node in the primary pool fails. If both primary one and three were to fail, only two would receive traffic, and then only one server would be available. So instead, you can configure a priority list with primary one through three in the highest group and backup one and two in the lowest group. If you specify that a minimum of two nodes must be available at any one time, with all servers running, the three primary servers are in use and the backup machines will not receive traffic. With any single primary failure, there are still two nodes in the higher group available to take requests, so these two nodes will handle all of the traffic. If a second primary node fails, only one node is left in the higher group. Because you've configured a minimum two servers must be available, the traffic manager will start to send requests to all machines in the backup group. Now requests are being handled by the remaining priority node and backup one and two. Now let's take a few minutes to demonstrate some of the load balancing algorithm features of Traffic Manager. So for this demonstration, the first thing I'm going to do is start a load test using Zeus Bench. So I'm currently SSH'd into a Traffic Manager appliance I have running. Uh, I will issue the Zeus Bench command uh, and start that load test. And now let's switch over to the GUI. And so now we're logged into the cluster that's receiving traffic for our load test. And we'll take a look at the activity graph. And we'll see that currently we're flowing around 225 uh, meg of throughput throughout the cluster. Uh, and specifically for this demonstration, let's take a look at the requests we're sending to each node. So I'll, I'll change that graph type. Uh, and then we're also going to change it over to a pie chart to give us a better visual real-time representation of the traffic going to each server. Uh, and in this case, we'll give it a second to finish updating. We can see that each server's handling approximately 50% of the traffic. 
Uh, so let's navigate back to our home page so we can quickly get to the demo web server pool configuration object. Uh, and then we'll click on load balancing. And then we'll take a look at the algorithm. Uh, and before I hit update or make any changes, we'll see that the cluster again is still flowing around 230 to 225 megabit of throughput. Uh, in this case, we already have the weight configured of a higher weight for app 122. Uh, a weight of four and app 123 has a weight of one. Uh, so we'll click update uh, and then we'll return back to our, our activity chart and we'll see how the traffic is being distributed. Uh, so now we'll notice as the chart updates we're getting about a, a four to one ratio uh, of requests going to app 122 versus 123. Uh, but most interesting we'll also see that we're getting well over 225 megabit of throughput uh, as we were getting before, and we're, we're up into the 300 megabits of throughput. Uh, so let's take a look back at that pool configuration. Uh, this must indicate that we're able to get more traffic uh, by sending more requests to App122. We must have a problem uh, with that server. Uh, so for the next example, we're going to go ahead and change that to the perceptive algorithm. Uh, and again, this will allow Traffic Manager to dynamically calculate which node should receive more traffic. Uh, we'll click update uh, and then as we did before we'll return right back to our, our activity graph and let's take a look at, at now how the requests are being distributed. So now we can see uh, that far more than a 4 to 1 ratio of requests have been assigned to app 122 uh, and then really we're, our total count has grown uh, up to 1400 connections and if you take a look at the cluster status applet, uh, you'll notice that we're flowing right around 450 to 500 megabit throughput on the traffic manager. And we can easily take a look at that by changing that over to our bandwidth chart uh, and taking a look at the difference before. And so now you can see by simply changing the load balancing algorithm on a pool, traffic manager is able to increase the amount of throughput or performance you're able to deliver with that application.